Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to All Things Paris. So, I have a Valentine's video for y'all. I'm doing a look for Valentine's Day to wear when you go out on your date or go out with your friends, whatever you do on Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned. So, I'm going to go in with this wet and wild foundation it's lighter than my skin tone but i use it as a base just take a little bit of that and i'm going to put this all over my lids and I'm just going to go in with my Bellium Tools brush and this is in 788. I'm just using a mirror so I can see. And what this is going to do is allow your shadows to pop. And it's going to make sure that your shadows have a base. And this step, to me in my opinion, is really important for people with really oily eyelids. Because I know my eyelids is super oily. Like, it'll be all, all in the crease. And this step will just make sure that... um you know that oil doesn't come through and messes up my shadows so very important step for oily eyelid people ain't no worse than thinking you cute thinking you about to walk out and go do whatever and next thing you know you check your makeup before you walk out the door and it looked like you didn't took some vaseline put it on your eyelids on top of your makeup not cute at all so this just make sure that everything is really going to be locked in you want to make sure that you take this to your brow bone because this is going to, um, you know, you want to make sure that the whole area is covered, okay? This is your canvas, and we are finna do a masterpiece, so you want to make sure that the whole area is just, you know, covered, okay, period. Okay, now I'm going to go in with I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and take that same brush and just, you know, pick up And what this is doing is it's setting the foundation, you know. So, this is basically a backup to the backup, honestly. Don't be shy to go in with um, your setting color because, you know, this is the final step to the security of the shadows. So, you're just going to make sure you do this and just really pack that color 
in that crease because like I said you don't want to think you're cute and you go to walk out the door and your crease look like it got Vaseline on it so um I really personally myself don't have anything planned for Valentine's Day really um probably just gonna go out to dinner just keep it simple but I hope everyone when Valentine's Day do come have a really nice Valentine's Day with the person that they love rather it's a significant other or a friend or family or whoever um just have a good time but anyways now we could go ahead to the fun stuff i'm gonna go and take it's just a little blending brush no no particular special name or anything i'm gonna go in with my anastasia or anastasia sorry prism palette and I'm going to go into um, this brown shade. It's just a chocolate brown. Get a little bit of that color. You don't ever want to start off too harsh. Because you're going to tap the extra off. Because you don't want it to be a blob of color. You just want to gradually work that in. And if you don't know where your crease is, your crease is where your eye and your bone, you'll feel a bone like right there where they meet. That's your crease. And this, this part may take a little time because you're working color in. But it's going to pay off when you take your time because everything's going to be well blended and so forth. So And you just want to work your shadow in. Going in small like circular motions and like back and forth. So as you can tell that's that crease is really coming along. And I'm going to do a smoky pink eye. Okay, I want to go traditional with pink, but I want it to be smoky for that sultry, sexy look. So, gotta keep it sexy for Valentine's Day, you know? So, alright, now I'm gonna go to the next eye and just repeat that same process. This is like the the worst part of doing makeup is like sitting here trying to do all this blending like that's the part that like nobody likes. Also, to everybody who, you know, have a significant other, 
be safe. Okay, blink in my eye. Be safe. <laughs> it's too much going on these days. And you just want to make sure that you and your health is A1. Okay. Alright, this is to my liking. The creases are even. Um, but I ain't done with that crease though. So, like I said, it's going to be smoky. So, now I'm going to go into the crease with this black here. I just dab a little because I'm telling you black is dangerous when it comes to makeup and the crease honey you fool around and jack up your whole look I go like this just push it in don't 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 sweep the color none of that you literally just pushing that in pick up a tad a little bit more and you literally just push it in it may look like I'm hurting myself, but it don't hurt. Okay. Now. Hmm. It's okay to stop and check to make sure everything is to your liking. Um, It's to my liking right now. So, I'm going to go ahead to the next step. Now I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in white. It just looks like this. And, or you could go in with like your concealer or whatever. And you're going to put a dot on your lid. Be careful when doing this step because you don't want to look up and jack your shadow up. Your crease up, I mean. So, be careful. Okay, now you're going to go in and just... Blend that out. But you know what? Um, mm -hmm. I'm not really. I ain't, I ain't really liking. I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping, I'm leaving out. I was about to say, I'm not really liking that it's not coming up exactly white, only because the um, foundation that was down previously, but it's cool. The color that I'm going to put on the list, they're going to pop up. So now I'm going to go in to my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition palette. One of my faves. Y'all going to see this a lot on my channel. Okay. And I'm just taking that flat brush. And I'm going to go into the color Flamingo. Which is this pretty pink Flamingo. And I'm going to take that color. And I'm just going to put that on my lid. And I'm going to pat the color on first. I ain't liking this brush. So I'm gonna go into a different going with a different brush. Okay. No extra special brush. It's just a regular little brush. 
go into flamingo again This color is so freaking pretty. As you see, that pink like really just pops. Love it. You want to make sure that you're just keeping this on your lid area because it's hard to kind of like go and fix if you accidentally get this color or, or color period that's bright uh, from your crease. And you're just going to build this color up to its, to your liking. Don't be afraid. I know this is really bold. And it's like, oh my goodness, it's real, real bright. But I'm telling you, this is going to be beautiful. Um... Go in with the clean brush and just kind of... You know, blend out that crease area. Okay. So, enough of that. Now I'm going to go in with a tear duct color. And the color I want on my tear duct. The brush. Um, I hate when it be like those real teeny tiny little brushes. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with angelic. It's a pretty like rose gold type of shade um or like a pink with gold undertones i'm gonna go in with that and put in my tear duct so as you see it's that pop Okay, now I'm going to go in with a clean brush and I'm going to go into the color Henna. It's like this burnt orange shade right here. I'm going to go in with that shade under the brow bone and believe it or not it sounds crazy like why are you going under your brow bone with a, a burnt orange but it's really like more like a neutral than what you think or what it appears to be as you see way toned down blends into the look opposed to this super bright undertone up under the eye you know I mean not undertone color up under your brow bone okay so the eyeshadow part is done 
we're going to go in with our eyeliner. Okay. The eyeliner I'm going in with today is Wet n Wild. And it's just in black. You're going to go and get as close to the lash close to the lash line as possible slowly and lightly flare out when you come to your out part and you want to be as close to the end in the middle so, so sorry if you can't see this part I'm trying to like you know focus Okay, this eye is done. On to the next. And after you finish one eye, you always want to redip because you don't want to go into, you know, your look with a drying liquid eyeliner or nothing. I feel like this is always like the most like hold your breath moment, you know, because you don't want to mess up on the look, but just take your time and stay as close to the lash line as possible. okay now that part is done and as you can see it's even so now we could go ahead and just put our eyeliner on the bottom lash line this really just pulls the look together and just really intensifies that smoky look um this that i'm using is cargo cosmetics it's in black c and i'm just gonna lash I'm just going to um, put this on my lash line, so. Okay, so as you can see, this is like really more just like the cherry on top opposed to the other one, so. It's always so hard, like, not to make that ugly face when you're putting on eyeliner. <laughs> okay, so that's done. As you can see, it's really put together excuse if you hear any noise um you know don't that seem like that always happen when you're trying to do something important it's just be a bunch of noise anyways um i'm gonna go in with smashbox full exposure mascara 
First time using this one. I like this one. Because the wand thing is big and like thick. So it makes it like easier to like, you know, get through this uh, mascara process a little bit faster. Okay, now that that is done. Um, the eye look is complete. And let's get into the lips. Just a second. Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, I have this big, huge box full of lipsticks and lip glosses and everything. So, hmm. Since it's a lot going on with the eyes, it's smoky, it's colorful, all of that. I kind of want to keep it a little, like, you know, toned down. So, but still have that pop of color. I'm going to go in with my Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss. And this is in the um, color Free Spirit. It's a pretty, like, purple, pinky purple, purple color. And I'm going to take that and just put some that on. Okay, so that is the completed look. As you see, it's smoky, it's colorful, it's sexy, it's fun, it's flirty. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.